So now we're learning about multiplication of matrices, and it's really not that difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to multiply them. A couple of years back, uh, I learned an uh, uh, interesting name for a certain type of multiplication. They called it the wood chipper in a class on vectors that I took. And um, the way that the wood chipper works, you know, here's your two matrices, A and B. We're going to multiply them. I'm going to draw this line here, draw this line here. So suppose, you know, we were ch chipping wood, you know, we'd cut this wood down. This is, suppose it's like some kind of a log or something. And we uh, put it into this wood chipping machine and it's going to pass through here. It's going to pass through here and then it's officially been chipped. And then we do the same thing here, chip it here and chip it here. So we're going to talk about that in just a second, the wood chipper. But let's go ahead and talk about what happens when we multiply matrices. So suppose we had two matrices of size, you know, m by n and n by, I'm sorry, n by p, not n equals, so n by p. Okay, these are the sizes, the number of rows, the number of columns, the number of rows, the number of columns. In order for us to actually even multiply these, the numbers here, the number of columns of the first matrix must equal the number of rows of the second matrix. Now, the result m by p is your size of your new matrix, okay? So those are the requirements. The number of uh, columns has to equal the number of rows here, and then the outside dimensions are the dimensions of the new matrix, okay? So what we're going to do, these are square matrices, so we don't have to worry. It's a 2 by 2 by a 2 by 2, the numbers match, and the result is a 2 by 2. So let's go ahead and figure out what I mean by this wood chipper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out these coefficients, or these numbers, I should say. They're not coefficients. Uh, write them out just like this. Okay. And then I'm going to put the first piece of wood in the wood chipper. All right, and it's going to slide down one level and slide down another. So in here, I'm going to put my negative 2 and my negative 1, my negative 2 and my negative 1. And there you go. There you have it, okay? You just carry out the operation, and then you're done with that part. Now we're going to do the same thing. So rewrite those numbers. All right, just in the same order. And we slide down the other piece of wood into the wood chipper. So we are going to put a 0 and a 5, a 0 and a 5, and there you go. There is the wood chipper. All right, now we're just going to carry out the operations and we have our product A times B. So let's see here. We're going to get uh, negative one times negative two is positive two, and three times negative one is negative three. So that's two minus three, which is negative one. Then we have here three times negative two, which is negative six and 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. So negative 6 plus a negative 2 is a negative 8. This negative 1 times 0 is just 0. And so we're left with 3 times 5, which is 15. 3 times 0 here is again 0. And we're left with 2 times 5, which is 10. So if we look at it here, this is our product AB for what we were looking for. So this right here is our product. And again, we put it through the wood chipper. I just need you to know that in general, multiplication of matrices does not commute. So keep that in mind and be very careful. The positioning here is very important. So what I'm trying to say is that it's not always true that A times B equals B times A in matrix multiplication. So this is not always true. Not always true so you need to be very careful so AB does not always equal BA um, be very careful with that if you do it the other way around you will probably get a different product the only uh, one of the only ways I know of course that you will get the same thing is if uh, the two matrices are identical uh, so A and B would be the same matrix or if the two matrices happen to be what's called inverses of each other, would you get the same product? But that's a discussion 
uh, for another time in another video. So good luck with your adventures in multiplying matrices that are actually quite fun.